Hi guys, welcome to Nate Flow. So in this video, we're gonna do the warm up of internal hip rotation. So an internal hip rotation, it's where my feet come towards my midline and my legs curl in. Okay, so that's internal rotation of the hip. For this video, you're gonna need one yoga block. So let's go ahead and get started in a standing position. I'm gonna splay my feet out. You can go ahead and bring the toes in slight external rotation, nothing huge. So what I'm gonna do is as I turn my pelvis towards the left, I'm gonna come on the big toe of my right foot. So I turn to the left, I'm gonna internally rotate my right leg, pressing through the big toe, come back to center. Other side, good. For six, five, four, three, two, one. Awesome. So now let's go ahead and meet on the floor. We're gonna find a straddle position, splaying the knees open, the legs open. And now from here, we're gonna do the exact same motion. So you can use your hands. Um, if you would like, you can also use your hands or without the hands. So I'm going to plant my hands to start and starting with the right leg. I'm going to curl my toes towards the inline and press through my big toe. And I'm pressing through using my adductors to curl the leg in to find the depth in my internal rotation. I'm back left side. I want to go for six, five. Press through the thigh, four, this is no hands, three, two, one, perfect. So go ahead and we'll start with the left leg this time, come back on the right elbow. You're gonna grab the top of the left foot, you're gonna point through the toes and you're gonna ground the big left toe near the glute. So you're gonna inhale, lift the knee towards the ceiling, exhale, press the knee, towards the earth as far as you can. Inhale, open, exhale, squeeze. Inhale for five, four, three, two, one. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna ground the heel and we're gonna externally rotate the foot towards the left glute. And from here, you're gonna squeeze the knee towards the earth, coming up. Okay, so we're here, squeeze, inhale up, squeeze, inhale up, as far as you can. Four, three, bringing the knee towards the midline, two, Inhale, last one, exhale, squeeze, come up. Perfect, so now extend your left leg, come on the left elbow, grab the top of the right foot, ground the big toe, press the knee towards the earth, inhale, knee to come towards the sky, exhale, press. For six, inhale, five, four, three, Two, last one, inhale, come up, and press through. Awesome, come back up on the sit bones. Slightly externally rotate the right foot towards the right glute. So the knee's coming to the midline. Plant the palms, exhale, press, inhale. For six, five, four, super fun today, three, Exhale, press, two, inhale, go through. Exhale, inhale, come up. All right, so this is our last exercise. This is where we're gonna use our block. So go ahead and find the length width of the block as you come down on the back, and you're gonna put the block in between the knees. Okay, so you're pressing your knees in, adduction, bringing the knees together, pressing the block. So now from here, as I exhale, I'm gonna press my ankles towards, towards the outer walls away from my midline. So exhale, exhale, press, inhale, squeeze the block. Exhale, press, inhale, squeeze the block. You should feel a nice engagement in the hip flexors. 
I'm gonna go for eight, seven, six, five. You can find a hollow body if you want a challenge. Four, three, two. Exhale, last one, hold. Inhale, come down, ground the feet. Coming back up. That's gonna end our warm up for internal hip rotation, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoy the flow. Namaste.